Cal. Queens News Time, 730. Good morning, I'm Brian Britton. At least 22 people dead, more than 500 injured after Hamas fired rockets into Israel in a surprise attack. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu telling his people, we are at war. Israel Defense Forces saying it's mobilizing soldiers amid a state of war alert. Israeli Defense Minister saying Hamas has started a war that Israel will win. We get an update now from our partners at ABC News. Israeli officials say at least 22 people were killed. More than 500 were hurt in a massive surprise attack by Hamas. More than 2,000 rockets were launched into Israel. Hamas fighters have also crossed into Israel, where there are unconfirmed reports of kidnappings and hostages. ABC's Jordana Miller is in Jerusalem. Some of the videos look um, quite uh, convincing. And of course, Hamas has taken hostages in the past. Uh, and it is one of the main uh, strategies or goals of this uh, operation, we understand, from the Hamas political leaders. The White House in a statement condemning the attacks. ABC's Mary Alice Parks explains how U.S. personnel are affected. The U.S. Embassy there has been issuing alerts telling Americans to remain vigilant, that the U.S. Embassy personnel are currently sheltering in place. Israel is retaliating. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu promised return fire of a magnitude the enemy has not known. Brian Clark, ABC News. We get an update on the Israel story. Just another 10 minutes, we'll give you an update. Right now, though, Queens News Time 731. Expanded traffic and transit. We've got the weather wreaking havoc on the roads. A lot of flooding, Sue Aller. That's right. A lot of flooding and a lot of closures because of the flooding. Route 3 is closed on the westbound side at the Garden State Parkway. We're also shut down on the westbound side of Route 46 just after Main Avenue in Clifton because of that high water. Now, in Kearney, it's passable, this flooding, but but it's out there. Truck Route 1 and 9 both ways at Hackensack Avenue. Two right lanes are closed and then more flooding on Route 7 closing down the right lane at County Road 507. Now here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. 20 to 25 minutes inbound at the George Washington Bridge to the upper level only because the lower level is closed. They are picking up the cones from the overnight outbound about a 15 to 20 minute delay. Uh, looking okay at the Lincoln and the Holland Tunnels. Let's take it over to Brooklyn. You're not okay on the beach. QE eastbound. Stop and go delays from the prospect to Atlantic Avenue and then on the outbound side of the Gowanus two lanes are still closed right past 39th Street with a broken down truck. Let's go to Queens on the southbound side of the Cross Island. A little bit sluggish by the LIE northbound. You do have delays as you approach the Throgs Neck Bridge but the bridge itself is doing okay. Here's what we see on Long Island's Big Three. You got a crash on the shoulder on the LIE eastbound at Ronkonkoma Avenue. The northern and the southern look great but on Sunrise Highway, that is closed on the eastbound side, and that is right by Locust Avenue, and that's all for an accident investigation. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Sue Aller, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. And now to the reason for the flooding, the AccuWeather four-day forecast. We check in with Dean DeVore. Yeah, it's this uh, just onslaught of rain again, and while Jersey was under the gun uh, initially when I came in here uh, 5 o'clock last uh, two and a half hours, that axis of where the shower and the thunder is repeating. It's coming now over to the heart of the city and over into Long Island suburbs, uh, especially the the uh, Nassau County suburbs. So this is the area now that I think over the next few hours we'll start to see what we were seeing in Jersey, more road and lane closures. In terms of more substantial and serious flash flooding, there's still the potential for that. I think the key will be what comes together here between the rain that we're already seeing and some of the rain that's well to our west yet to come through later on the morning into the middle of the day. Showers and thunderstorms should then taper off this evening. Temperatures upper 60s and near 70 early and then as the rain gets hold I think we're going to just be steady in the 60s falling back. We'll dry out tonight Brian and here comes fall. Low to mid 40s in the suburbs near 50 in the city. Tomorrow and Monday breezy much cooler both days near 60 with early sun giving way to clouds both days. Tuesday could have a shower. Highs still cool in the low 60s. 60, 67 with pockets of rain around. I'm Mackie with the meteorologist Dean DeVore. Now the allergy alert forecast brought to you by ENT and Allergy Associates. Book your same-day appointment online today. I know this wet weather hasn't been fun, but at least for allergy sufferers, it's keeping those pollen levels low. I'm Dean DeVore, New York's weather station, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. Thank you, Dino. 67 in Massbeth, 68 Patterson, 66 in Brewster. You did not win the Mega Millions, but there is still hope for the really big Powerball. Somebody in Texas took home the Mega Millions. 
top prize of $360 million last night. There were, though, four $1 million tickets. Two of those were sold in New Jersey. One of them actually worth $3 million because of the multiplier. Those numbers are 12 24, 46, 57, 66, the Mega Ball 22. And we got the big Power Ball tonight, $1.4 billion on the line. That's the third largest prize in Power Ball history. We'll bring you those numbers as soon as they're drawn tonight at 10.59. Rudy Giuliani slapped with a $550,000 lien on his Palm Beach condo for unpaid property taxes. Spokesperson for the former mayor says he's made arrangements to settle the debt with the IRS. Didn't say where the money was coming from. Giuliani facing a mountain of debts and lawsuits indicted in Georgia last month in that racketeering case that accused him of helping ex-president Trump try to steal the election. He's also a co-defendant along with Fox News in a $2.7 billion voting machine defamation suit. His longtime attorney just started uh, suing him uh, for millions in unpaid bills. He's also been named in a sexual harassment suit by a former assistant. Another Staten Island ferry up for grabs. Remember the one Colin Jost and Pete Davidson bought? And they're probably not going to buy this one, too. The Andrew J